Hello Preparatory, how are you? I'm Fiore and today we are starting a new topic. Look, it says actions now. Actions now. We started seeing something about actions now on the previous topic. For example, we said she is wearing right now a dress and shoes. Is wearing. Usábamos ing para indicar que estaba pasando en el momento de esa acción. ¿sí? La persona estaba vistiendo cierta ropa. And now we are going to see a bit more about this action now. Okay, so this is the fourth term. The year is almost over. Okay, so let's try to make the most of it. So this is the cover, a magazine about actions now. Okay, you can print it and paste it in a color sheet and put it in your folder. Okay. So this is the handout, a magazine about actions now. And let's take a look. What is this boy doing? What is he doing? Write on the chat. What is he doing? He's writing, very good. Yes, he's putting up his hand, very good. He is sitting on a chair. Excellent. What is this girl doing? Look at her. She has ballet shoes. Yes, very good. This girl is dancing. She is dancing. Excellent. And what about this girl? What is she doing? Very good. Yes, she's playing the guitar. She's playing the guitar. She's making music. And what is this boy doing? Look, he has a book. What is he doing? Write on the chat. Excellent. He's reading. Very good. Okay, so you can print this copy and paste it in a color sheet. Okay, pueden pegarlo en una hoja de color y ponerlo en la carpeta. And we are going to start with this handout. What are they doing? This is the handout. What are they doing? And we have a few activities. Do you have the handout? Excellent. Very good. Okay, let's read the instructions. Exercise A says, look and tick or cross. So, here we have some sentences and we have to tick if the, the sentence is the same as what the picture shows. Okay, so... Anne is eating. Anne is eating. Number one, sentence number one with picture number one. Anne is eating. Is this girl eating? Yes, very good. So we are going to write a tick. Very good. What about number two? They are wearing uniforms. Number two, picture number two. They are wearing uniforms. Are they wearing uniforms? Yes, very good. Yes, they are. Excellent. Number three. She is reading a comic book. She is reading a comic book. Is she reading a comic book? Mm -mm, no. What is she doing? 
She's dancing very good. Look, she's making a appearance. Good. Exercise. Sorry, sentence four. Look at the picture. They are sleeping. They are sleeping. Is it the same sleeping than what the girls are doing? No, they are not sleeping. They are eating. This girl is eating and this girl is drinking. Number five. He is playing the guitar. This boy is playing the guitar. Yes or no? Tick or cross? Very good. A tick. He is playing the guitar. And the last one. They are playing football. They are playing football. Yes, very good. Excellent. Let's go to exercise B. Complete the sentences. You have to use am, is or are. So, A. She mm, eating. Look here. An is eating. She is eating. He is playing. They are. They are. And they are. We use is for he, she, or it. We use are for we, they, and you. And we use am um for I. Okay, so she, what do we have to write here? She, very good, is eating, excellent. And he is playing the guitar, very good. And they are wearing uniforms. And you? What are you doing? I am studying English. I am studying English. Very good. Okay, great. Now, exercise C. Choose and complete using am, is, or are. He mm, reading a comic book. He mm, reading a comic book. Very good. He is reading a comic book. B. You mm, listening to music. Write on the chat. Write the answer on the chat. Yes, excellent. You are listening to music. We m mm, dancing. Yes, we are dancing. Excellent. I am mm, painting a picture. Yes, I am painting a picture. Fantastic. They m mm, taking pictures. They are taking pictures. Very good. And the last one, they m mm, wearing uniforms. They are wearing uniforms. Very good. Excellent. Now, exercise D. What are they doing? Write. Use it, watch a film, or paint a picture. For D. Because getting dressed is the example. She is getting dressed. Se está cambiando esta chica. 
they mm, they qué auxiliar ponemos am is o are they are very good and which verb what are they doing are they eating no are they watching a film yes very good these boys and girls are watching a film very good so they are watching a film very good He is very good. And what is he doing? Is he eating or is he painting a picture? Which one is it? Very good. He's painting a picture. Excellent. And number three. What is this boy doing? Yes. He is eating. He is eating. Very good. Excellent. Very, very good. Have you finished copying? Yes. Okay, I'm going to give you one more minute for you to finish copying. Let me know when you're ready on the chat. Ready? Okay, great. So, this is the next handout we are going to do, okay? It's called Present Continuous Rules. This one. Present Continuous Rules. And Present Continuous is the tense that we use to talk about actions now. Present Continuous es la forma en la que escribimos los verbos cuando queremos hablar de acciones que están pasando en el momento, ¿sí? Presente simple lo usamos para rutinas, cosas que pasaban todos los días y present continuous lo usamos para cosas que están pasando en el momento, ¿sí? Ok, so, we have different ways of writing the ing. So, these are some verbs that the only thing we need to do is add ing. So, eat plus ing, it's written eating. Play plus ing, it's written playing. And draw plus ing, is written drawing. Okay? Good. Now, what happens with these verbs? These verbs end with E, letter E. Estos verbos terminan con E. But, when we want to add ING, we have to take out the letter E and then we add ing. Cuando queremos ponerle la ing a estos verbos que terminan con e, tenemos que sacarle la e y agregarle la ing. So dance, we take out the e and we add ing. Dancing. Drive, we take out the e and we add ing. Driving. And we do the same with ride. Ride. Le sacamos la E and we write ING. Riding. 
riding a bike. She is riding a bike. He is driving a car. They are dancing. Okay. Good. Then we have these verbs that finish with a vowel. Sorry, with a consonant. So, what do we have to do? They finish with consonant, vowel, consonant. Estos verbos terminan con consonante, vocal, consonante. Entonces, cuando le vamos a agregar la ing, lo que tenemos que hacer es duplicar la última consonante. En el caso de stop, es la p. Stopping. Stopping. En el caso de swim, duplicamos la M. Volvemos a escribir otra M. Swimming. Y en el caso de run, la N. Running. ¿Sí? Entonces, siempre cuando tenemos consonante, vocal, consonante, y le tenemos que agregar ING, le duplicamos la última consonante. ¿Sí? We double the letter, the last letter, and then we add ing. Ok, so for example, they are stopping, she is swimming, and I am running. Very good. Ok, let me know when you finish copying. Is this clear? If you have any questions, write on the chat. Si alguien tiene alguna pregunta sobre estas reglas de cómo escribir las palabras con ING, si sí, los verbos con ING, las hacen por el chat. Any questions? No? Ok. Great. Very, very good. Ok. This next um, handout, you're going to do it in Zoom with your teacher. Ok. And for homework, remember that you have this handout. The teacher is going to explain it to you. This is a speaking practice and you have to find differences in the two pictures. And then you have this handout, which is extra homework, which is the starter's exam, extra homework number five. So, okay, and that is going to be all for today's class. Thank you very much. Have fun in Zoom and I will see you next class. Goodbye.